now we are in the Q &A. Uh, and A. Great. And After we're show. like still recording and stuff. Or yeah, it's just a little bit more of an informal thing uh, in case um, sometimes I, people have questions. I have to run to the bathroom. Um, yeah, do it. Yeah, I and you know, I may have to run uh, in general, um, but I'll come back and collect my things. <laughs> Uh, someone said, I didn't know what dark was until this show. <laughs> in reference to the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, well, first off, someone asked, uh, do you have different cast every week? Yes, we do. Uh, we've had a couple recurring uh, people who have come back, and if these guys want to, we'll definitely ask them to come play again. Uh, but yeah, we try to always mix it up, have different casts or at least different combinations. Uh, uh, oh, Gian, Gian Molina uh, said, no question, just a huge huzzah to the group. Yay! Yay. Thank you. Um, Carrie Poppy asked what our favorite pizzas are. Uh, well, uh, my favorite uh, pizza is the kind Carrie makes uh, because uh, she is my girlfriend. So that's Aww. right. That's the right answer, right? Yeah. That seems uh, manipulative, like a manipulative answer. That's the truth. <laughs> Heather? Uh, Chicago style pizza, uh, preferably from Lou Malnati's. Any particular uh, toppings? Uh, sausage and mushroom, or mm. if sometimes that gives you a little heartburn, sometimes just mushroom. Mm. I like, uh, I don't like, I, I feel like this is the opposite of what they asked, but like, I like any sort of thick crust, either like Chicago style thick crust or just like a, even New York style thick crust. Like any sort of level of that is my favorite, mm -hmm. just cause I can't stand thin crust. Mm. I yeah. don't like a thin crust pizza. Uh, <laughs> but topping wise, I love some pepperoni, some sausage, some Canadian bacon. Uh, I've actually really been growing on uh, Hawaiian style lately. Ooh. Really? You don't like pineapple on a pizza? No fucking way, man. I used to not. I used to not, and I like it now. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, Gian says, Heather's fave is Lou Maynatis? Yeah, Lou uh, Malnatis. Yeah. Oh, that's what, okay, yeah, that's what I just said. Uh, Solo Echo asks, who would you call the leader of this specific group? I think probably Cratch. Oh, I don't think Cratch is the leader. Mm. No way. I feel like the re I, I get Drew's impulse to say that, and I feel that's solely because Cratch ran in front so much. <laughs> <laughs> right? But I, I don't think of Cratch as a leader <clears throat> at all. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be Orchid Transistor to yeah. try, like the ability to try to keep something on the rails. Yeah, it felt like Orchid Transistor was wanted to, was the closest thing to a leader, mm -hmm. wanted to be the leader, but was not a very effective leader. Right, right. <laughs> kind of the Michael Scott of this group. <laughs> uh, okay, Herky one agrees with you guys. Fruit plus, fruit plus cheese is weird. Mm -hmm. uh, Carrie Poppy says, gross, in response to Drew's answer. Oh, nice, um, thank you. <laughs> Uh, oh, where do we get the cast? Uh, we, all of us, have done stuff at UCB. That's where I know all three mm -hmm. of these people from. Um, and obviously just like around with the LA comedy community. Um, hopefully as we do more of these, we're gonna like get outside of just the UCB or the improv community and get like a lot more different variety of comedy people on. Uh, we got, uh, Josh posted a photo of this on a their Instagram a few weeks ago, and Reggie Watts said he wants to play. Awesome! Oh, which is pretty cool. sweet, so I'm very excited for that. Uh, uh, does Jash play do other Twitch shows? Uh, not yet, but we are trying to get that going. Actually, after this office move, fingers crossed we're gonna have more of a gaming PC soon and be able to do some like more typical Twitch stuff in addition to streaming shows, kind of like this. Um, I think the idea with that will be to have like not just like you know some guy playing games, but hopefully like comedians playing games too. And like probably I've definitely pitched like a show of just clearing out all the terrible Steam games that I have on my queue. Just like I think it'd be funny to watch a comedian play Car Mechanic 2014. <laughs> oh God. Um, uh, <clears throat> cool. Uh, Sorry. Oh, how much D and D experience do the players have? Um, we kind of answered that earlier, but just uh, you got one for for none. new players. None. None. 
Um, and medium? Medium, yeah. yeah. You said it had been like 10 years since you played? Yeah. You used to play 3.5? Yeah. Nice. It's funny, I started with 4th. I actually never played, I played the, like, Baldur's Gate, like, the gaming, the video mm -hmm. games based on 3.5, but I never played it in person, because uh, I didn't know anybody who played D&D when I was a kid. But I started with 4th and have played a ton over the last, like, six years. Um, let's see, any other questions for our guests? Ten jobs. Oh, yeah. Uh, we usually have this, ask this on a break, but I got kind of caught up. Um, just with like the theming of the show, I always like to ask like, what's the worst temp jobs you guys have had? Or if it's if you haven't done temp <coughs> jobs, like other just shitty day jobs. The worst job, and it's not that bad, but when I was in high school, uh, I worked at a food bank. Uh, a lot of it was just like getting stuff to look good uh, on your college resume, mm -hmm. uh, and that makes you look altruistic, and you can write an essay about how great it is to give back. Uh, but everyone else that like worked at that food bank would had to do it for community service, like uh, because they got like DUIs or <laughs> like drug offenses, and because I was just like a like fresh faced like college student trying to like make stuff look good on their like college credit a lot of what I did was like making sure people weren't like doing drugs in the bathroom <laughs> so that was real rough that sucks yeah um I was a uh, grocery delivery person for a year um I won't name the company because the company's great so I don't want people to think that I hate the, that's but the, honorable um, but the uh, but yeah, I used to. There's only two kinds of people that deliver or want a delivery of groceries. It's either shut-ins mm. or the f insanely rich, uh, and neither of those groups of people tips particularly well. <laughs> yeah. Um, except for a, a, a noble few, very wealthy people um, who tipped very very nicely. Uh, but that was that was pretty rough, and I uh, quit to a delivery's face. Um, cause she screamed at me when I dropped off her water. Oh wow. Uh, and she was like, I didn't order this. I didn't fucking order this. Where the fuck do you? Eat? And I was like, I quit. I quit. I quit. <laughs> I'm, I quit. You can't, you can call. I'm not taking that back into my car. I'm not doing anything. I've already quit. Yeah. So <laughs> you can't get me fired. I'm done. And then I called my boss on the way back to the store and he's like, yeah, I can see that. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah. He got it. Yeah. I wonder, like, that thing you mentioned about the tip and, like, the only people using it, I wonder if that will get better now that it seems like more, like, with, like, the whole, like, Amazon two-hour mm. service, like, it's getting a little more accepted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it'll get better. Do you mind if I ask how long ago? Is that a weird uh, question? No, that was, uh, that was 2006. Oh, um, yeah, because it does seem like it's more prevalent now mm -hmm. than that. Yeah. I wonder if that's gotten better. That's... I don't think any of us can answer that question. That's just me idly wondering things. How about you, Leland? Um, I uh, used to knock on doors uh, to raise donations for environmental organizations, and that was that was pretty wow. rough. That was that was a, a real tough every day. It was yeah. It was and and like it's because it's so rough and you like face so much rejection. Everybody in the canvas office is like extra like teeth grinning like sp like peppy it's like we're gonna do it you know yeah. and, and so just like kind of those two mm. forces where it's just like everybody hates you and then you go back and it's like we're doing it is 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 just a lot right yeah it was it, it was, it was terrible uh not the first time someone on this show has answered with canvassing jobs mm. Lindsay Kate I uh, Kitai hasn't been on yet. Uh, um, who was it? I imagine someone. she would be someone yes. who would be on the show. Someone else did too. And now I'm blanking on who. Well, you can go watch other ep all of the episode <laughs> where it happened on our YouTube archive. Um, oh, that's nice. Sven Vitko says, I hope any slash all of these three come back. They are hilarious. All right. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Um, haven't got any questions for a while, so I think we'll wrap up this Q&A. Right. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, like I said before, we will not be back next Thursday because we're moving offices. The following Thursday, we'll be back at our normal time at 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Let's give a hand to our guests. Hi, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. Or day or morning or wherever it is, wherever you are. <laughs>